My man John right here, best ball handler in the country, hands down. This man's the real deal. Handles on top of handles, ridiculous ball control, uh, wet jump shot. And he became known across the nation as Super Handle. Hi there, my name is John Hildebrandt, and since you're here watching this video, I'm sure that you're a fan of Kyrie Irving's crossover. In this video, I'm going to explicate and demonstrate how to perform one of Kyrie Irving's crossovers. It's known as the Killer Crossover. The Killer Crossover is a move that was made famous by Tim Hardaway. What are the essentials of this move? Well, let me show you. This move should be started by dropping, splitting, and pounding the dribble through your legs while darting your body in this direction. Furthermore, you should look in this direction. And as you perform the between the legs dribble, your hand should be below your front knee. At this point, you should be looking in this direction while your knee is dropped and your back foot is rotated off the floor. In addition, your chest should be over your knee. The drop, split, pound, dart, and look should be performed in order to provide an optimal fake. Try to make it appear as if you are going to accelerate in the direction of your between the legs dribble. Now it is time to cross the dribble over in front. So cross it over with your hands below your front knee and perform a crossover step in this direction. Should your back foot stay in contact with the floor at the same place throughout the duration of your crossover? The answer is no. While crossing the ball in front, maneuver your back foot to a position that will empower you to push off as explosively as possible during your crossover step. There it is fast. It's vital to make those two dribbles as quick as possible. So drop, split, pound, and dart your body in this direction. Between the legs, cross over. Then explode out of the move while dropping your shoulders to a point where your chest is over your knee. At this point, you can pull up for a jump shot or accelerate. Remember, it's impossible to travel while dribbling. So if you'd like to keep your dribble alive, maintain a hand position that is on top of the basketball. You can end your dribble by maneuvering your hand underneath the ball or by touching the ball with both hands at the same time. Here it is into a jump shot. Now I'm going to go full speed and perform the killer crossover in transition. Be abrupt while performing this move and try to maximize the time on the balls of your feet in order to change direction as quickly as possible. The killer crossover is a counter to the between the legs dribble. If you approach your defender with the intention of performing the killer crossover, make sure to keep the between the legs and go option open. This means that a quick analysis of your defender in a given situation may show that you have more of an advantage if you accelerate following your between the legs dribble. Try to exploit the weaknesses and mistakes made by your defenders. If you'd like to build your killer crossover to the point of becoming game ready, I have a free one hour workout that I'd like to give you. Simply click the link that is on the screen right now if you'd like to take me up on this free offer. You have nothing to lose and the super handles advantage to game.